hello everyone so today in this um, high performance generated graph system we are going to address a particular issue that we have when we generate the grass meshes so here now you can see only this area is generated but if i reduce the grass density let's say something like 10 and clear and regenerate now we see uh, oh, it's not clear let me increase the density to 50 yeah now you can see this uh, uh, grass is generated in a larger area so that covers this entire area but the density is much smaller compared to before so if I use the density something like 300 and generate now it takes a lot of time and it looks like the editor is frozen I'll give it yeah see now once it is generated you can see only some of the tiles are generated so we don't see all the tiles here so the reason as I understand the reason is when we generate let me clear this first I guess something like memory overflowing or uh, um, I don't really know yeah maybe running out of memory or something like that is happening so therefore I want to optimize this generation system today so how do we do that so this is the main function event that we call in the editor and what it does is for each tile we call this generate grass tile function so what i'm planning to do is instead of uh, calling this function right away for each iteration of the loop i'll do something like this just like we did in the runtime terrain generation system let's say tile oh no q q tiles and i'll convert this to a map oh sorry a vector map okay now the first value the key will hold the origin of the tile and the vector value or maybe we can use a boolean here um no let's use a integer so the second uh, integer value or the value of this map will hold the mesh section index of that grass tile so initially here instead of generating the tile right away i'll add these uh, origins to this queue add this is the origin which is the key and as the value i'll keep minus one so what this means is when i put minus one i consider it as uh, the style is not yet generated so after we enqueue all the tile origins all the tiles that we need to generate i'll let me move this up uh, i'll generate only one tile at a time so a custom event generate next tile okay now i'll get this well actually this doesn't have to be a uh... oh yeah oh no this doesn't have to be a uh, event so i'll make it a function 
generate next tile okay now let's get the cube tiles and get keys sorry get values and then let's run a loop for each loop with a break so once we encounter an element which is equal to minus one let's break this loop have a branch sequence oops break the loop And then uh, again from cute tiles get oh no, get keys and from the keys I'll get the value key that is relevant to this index <coughs> and then generate class tile for that origin and to the queue tiles i'll add the same value oh hold on we should have done this before and as the index i'll put cross mesh section index so it's no longer minus one okay right oh one more thing in the event graph in this clear grass now i'll remove the elements no clear yeah clear all the elements in this cute tiles as well and once this uh, all the tiles are enqueued i'll call generate next tile also i'll make this generate next tile call in editor so that we can press it to continue to generate all the tiles save all compile go back here and let's test with the smaller value first like 20 generate cross tile did anything happen not sure okay i oh, yeah, actually let me clear again yeah it does here and here and here okay so it's working now let's test with 250 okay first style next style all right okay now it does it did generate all the tiles without giving me an errors all right i tried with 300 as well and the system works still mm, okay uh 
shall we play and test where is world settings so i have noticed that it is taking a bit longer to save the level once i generated the grass so i guess that's because it it includes a lot of information i need to look into further optimize this as well maybe i'm not sure maybe i need to see the possibility of see if i can convert this to a regular static mesh after generation all right save done let me play okay here is our system let me enable start yes we have 95 100 yeah no it's more than 100 90 okay closer to 100 so yeah it is good compared to the given that how many grass plates we have and how much of a draw distance we have i am happy with the result and also we have shadows enabled as well okay so i think uh, we can stop this episode here and the next time i want to do something like this for example here when this uh, brown, uh, brown layer and the green layer in the landscape is blended i want to uh, i want to make the grass so oh, it's too fast grass in this area shorter and maybe a little bit of a uh, brownish to match with the color of the ground underneath so it looks like that instead of having full height uh, fully grown grass in the edge somewhat of a faded out blended look so it would look much more realistic compared to what we have here so yeah let's look into that thing and also i have other things in the pipeline too regarding this system so yeah let's do go step by step and thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for you to download in the patreon page link could be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye